Welcome, folks, to another game holder. Let's play King Art Games. I'm proud to present to you the book of unwritten tales, a magical journey. Let us begin a new game. Chapter One Prologue. Prepare to journey through a magical world with the Game Hoarder. On a fantastic voyage. With a fantastic story. Our world is at war. Only the old can remember a time without fear, without bloodshed. Defeat followed victory. Victory followed defeat. No one could gain the decisive advantage. Only now is there an end in sight. Who would ever have thought that it would fall to someone like me, an old archaeologist, to put an end to this madness? And I didn't find the key to ending the war on one of my expeditions. Not deep in some dark dungeon, nor on the peak of a fiery mountain. No, I found it in an old book. I only hope that luck has not abandoned us. What's happened to Beetle and the Archmage's men? Doesn't he know how... Glug Glug! So then, you're MacGuffin, are you? Archaeologist. Adventurer and future trophy on my mother's living room wall. And you are Monkus, dastardly son of the Arch Witchmore Troger. What do you want from me? I think you know that. Where is it? We know that your feeble minded servant was on the way to that damned magical trickster Alistair. I won't tell you anything. Take him away. Mother has ways and means of squeezing what we need to know out of him. After all, what's likely to happen? Oh well, we're several days away from the wildlands. It's just as safe here as in the elf burrow. Oh, then? If it was left up to them, I'd just be spending the whole day. Spirited leap later. Let's do it. Alright, so here the game begins. You can move Evo using the left mouse button. Move her to the dragon's leg. We'll call her Ivo. To take a look at an object, click on it with the left mouse button. I'll try it on the rope over there on the right. One end of the rope is knotted tightly. I could use it to swing onto the other side of the leg. Let's do so. Examine the cage and speak to the gremlin. The metal cage is fastened onto the dragon's harness. The old gremlin's in the cage. He hasn't noticed me yet. I wonder what secret that old gremlin's hiding. If the Shades are daring to venture so far into Alliance territory, it must be very important. Hey, hello, you there? Ooh. Who are you? My name is... Never mind, there's something you have to do for me. What am I talking about? It's not just for me, it's for the Alliance. I've no particular interest in the Alliance. I don't care. This has to do with everyone. Professor McGuffin's the name. I'm an archaeologist. I've discovered something. Something important. And they want it? 
Oh, yes. You've no idea how much they want it. Tell me what you've discovered. Let me guess. Your kidnappers up there want to use your knowledge to achieve world domination? They may scoff, but they would have to skin me before I tell them what I know. Okay, then. I'll release you and let you mortals carry on playing at war. No! We've got no time to lose. You! You must take this ring. Take it to the Archmage Alistair in the town of Seastone, on the coast. He will send someone to my house. The book that describes where it is hidden is there in my secret cellar. He must get it to safety. And what about you? I will win you as much time as I can. I can endure torture for hours, days if need be. The pain, the humiliation, the agony of body and soul. Shouldn't I perhaps really be setting you free? Perhaps I should just release you and we'll do without the pain and death bit. That would, of course, also be an option. Less dramatic, but if you insist, I could hardly stop you. How can I get you out of there? Good question. This cage is well built and the lock won't be easy to deal with. I could untie the cage and then it would smash when it hits the ground. Just like my old bones. But it's not a bad idea. On the way to Mortroga's fortress, we'll fly over the White Ridge Mountains. Everything's covered in snow there, and the dragon will fly low over the peaks. We could try it there. That was a joke. The chances of that working are about a million to one. I can't see any other way to escape. Fighting is not an option. <sighs> Let me see how the cage is fastened. You do that. I'll be... Uh, here, if you need me. No idea what's going on here. I should probably release the old gremlin before we get into enemy territory. We'll have to see how we go after that. I wonder what secret that old gremlin's hiding. If the Shades are daring to venture so far into Alliance territory, it must... That's the way up into the dragon's back. I can't reach the support strat. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? How can such a heavily loaded dragon fly at all? Isn't it a trifle improbable that a 50 meter long dragon with a pathetically small wingspan could be physically capable of transporting such a substantial amount of gear? How should I know? I'm an archaeologist, not an aeronautical scientist. I don't concern myself with trivialities. I see it flying, so I believe it. I, however, find it illogical. Then it must be magic. Hmm? If something isn't logical in this world, then it's always down to magic. Very practical. You can explain everything like that. Something's flying that can't fly? Magic! What do you know about your kidnappers? That kidnapper with his troll. Who is he? The sorcerer. He's called Monkus. He's the son of the Archwitch Mortroga. The Arch Witch? How did she know that you'd made such an important discovery? Beetle, my servant. I sent him on a secret mission to the Archmage. I must have caught him. Beetle. So how does our plan go again? Can we talk through this plan again, just to be sure? You come up with a way to release the cage. As soon as we're flying close to the ground in the White Ridge Mountains, you let me and the cage drop, and then jump yourself. Do you think you'll survive the impact? I hope so. The dragon will have to fly close to the mountain peaks. There are lots of pine trees and snowdrifts there. And chasms and canyons and rocks? Yes, yes, I know. But I've got to get back to my cottage and get the book from my cellar. They mustn't get their hands on it. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. This rope fastens the cage to the dragon. I have to undo it if I want to drop the cage onto the mountains. Oh, this is too tight. I won't be able to undo this just using my hands, but if I had a knife or a sword, I could perhaps cut the rope. Hey, MacGuffin. What is it? I just can't open the cage with my bare hands. The cage has been secured with a thick rope. I can't release it using my bare hands. Then you'll have to cut through the rope. Splendid idea. 
but I don't have a knife. Then get your hands on one. The kidnappers up there are sure to be armed. I fear that could be true. I'm not going to be able to get on the dragon's back without some help. If I'm going to steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. A whip? It's always served me well. You could use it as a rope. You'll find the whip just as all other objects in the inventory. Move the mouse button to the bottom edge of the screen to open the inventory. When examine an object in the inventory, click on it using the right mouse button. I'll just carry on then. You wait here. Perhaps I can reach the strut using the gremlin's whip. I was evil and beastly. Yes, I'll bring him with me, mother. Yes, yes, yes. I have to go. Why? I'm steering a dragon, remember? You know, I'm not being curt with you. I, I, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll see you later. Love you too. Oh, by the gods, how I hate her! No, not much longer, Marcus, not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hands. But you have to be careful, Bunkus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. And you are talking to yourself. Better shut up. There appears to be some truth in the Gremlin's story. It's vital that I rescue him. If I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the driver's cabin. A thin wooden stick with the flag of the Shadow Army. The stick's been tied loosely to the railing. Got it, and the sorcerer hasn't noticed. swords, but I can't reach the stand without the sorcerer seeing me. An old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit if the dragon crash lands. There are a few moth-eaten blankets in the box, a bit of dried meat covered in white mold, and a blue and red potion, and... A line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. I'll take it with me. You can combine objects in your inventory by selecting an object and then clicking on it with another object. I'll knot the line to the tip of the stick and hey presto, I've got a fishing rod. Cliché. Cliché? The struggle of good against evil is never cliché. You mentioned your secret cellar. 
Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. I found a sword. I can cut you loose at any time. I've got a sword and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. Are you really sure? I am. But if I don't survive or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. That would be really unexpected. Isn't this a strange coincidence? A young pretty elf walks through the woods unarmed and is suddenly caught up in an adventure. Don't talk, just cut me free! The right moment is close. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin. Finally, the everlasting battle of the Free People's Alliance against the Dark Army of Shadows is taking a turn. The aged gremlin archaeologist MacGuffin has discovered the secret hiding place of a legendary artifact which has the power to end the war. While the Army of Shadows sends out the best agents to take possession of the artifact, the Alliance's four heroes find themselves involuntarily drawn into the adventure. Hey, Wilbur! Working hard at it, saving the world! I, I'm, I'm almost done, you. I could see! Beavering away, eh? <laughs> what were you this time? A knight riding high on his horse? Or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> hey, hero. I've got a job for you. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. That rat's got an in for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, we're going to be a wee bit scarce. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. You're still my helper. And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> I need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see. A large crate. It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. Let's see. Not a chance. I'll never get this crate open with my bare hands. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. Hello, Master Brewer, sir. Aye, aye, Wilbur. How are the beer tests going? Is everything okay with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. You initially think, hmm, that tastes good. But then, 
BAM! The finish is all off. Earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. <laughs> so you want me to send a robot on a rat hunt? So I'm supposed to uncreate the robot and send it after the rat? Definitely. Shouldn't be too difficult for you, being a gnome and all. You've got the right kind of hands for all that technical stuff. I'm not really all that into technology. I'm more interested in the mysterious powers of magic. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sure there's some instructions in the crate. Shouldn't be that difficult for Mr. Mage. <laughs> and as soon as I can go, as soon, and I can go as soon as I've caught this rat. So I can call it a day once the robot has caught the rat. Aye, you can go back home and get some sleep. Where are the other dwarves? Where are the other dwarves, anyway? All the way fighting! You know that! There's been nobody here except me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. If you weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long ago. <laughs> have we still not won the war yet? What's the news from the front? The Alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. Neither side has the advantage. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow the Shadow Army plunders Auenheim. Today, we take care of Garrett the Throat Slitter, and tomorrow, they nobble Bella Sunnythor. At the moment, we've got Mortroga's Fortress under siege, the old Arch Witch. Not getting anywhere fast, though. It could still be years before either side gets the upper hand. Hopefully we do. Aye, let's hope so. <laughs> it must be very long here without the other dwarves. Do you miss the other dwarves a lot? Aye, there's not much going on here now, that's for sure. In the old days, it was packed and rowdy every night. Stone Chomper and Ball in the Bear Peppo and Talon, <laughs> he could beat anyone at finger wrestling. And then, of course, there was Bellant, our leader with his golden tankard. Now I've only got you here. You're not exactly a party animal. Maybe the other dwarves will come back soon. Aye, and then they'll tell their tales of adventure, the times they've had and what they've been through. And me, I can only listen on. I'd like to hear their stories, seeing as though I'm not with them myself. All right. I have to keep walking. I'll take care of the robot then, and the rat. Aye, go on then. As you can see, this game is gorgeous. I mean, graphics are phenomenal. A dwarf-sized crowbar. So it's pretty big. Very cool animations, very vibrant colors. Uh, I've been wanting to, to uh, LP this game for quite a long time. Uh, I was waiting for a good English version from uh, Germany, which is where I believe this was originally made. And uh, I've been waiting quite a while for this to make it over to the stateside. Uh, this and Whispered World are probably two of my favorite newer uh, graphic adventure games that have been made in this uh, the newer era, if you will. Let's see. What's that? Ah, the user manual. Wood Elvish. Succubushish. Succubushish. Here we are. Dwarven. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house robot. The latest in house robot technology. Feed the X-100 the stinking remains of your disgusting existence, but absolutely no broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Hmm. Rats. There. Rat care. Rats breeding. Ah, rat hunted. Rat hunted. In order to hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X-100 with DNA from your target. DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, snot, and uh, other things. 
Okay, so first I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course, rat DNA. Finally, a simple rat trap. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. It shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. Dwarfs are excellent stone masons. That fireplace is proof. Alright, well, first thing we need to do is get some scraps for the robot. Let's head left to the kitchen. That is the Bastion's emblem. Actually, an entire battalion of dwarves is supposed to be stationed here. Each battalion consists of seven companies, which in turn consists of seven platoons. Each platoon consists of seven squads of seven dwarves. Dwarves have this thing for the number seven. Yes, they do. I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine, The Last Three Weeks by Wilbur Weathervane. Ugh. Got some kitchen waste here. Oh no, a very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Although I've never seen any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. And let's take that net under the counter. The rubbish bin is almost overflowing. Presumably it's my job to empty it, but oh well. How about some rubbish? A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And Gar Let's take the coffee pot too. Hmm, the coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. The stove isn't used much. Though this morning the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. Hmm, beer. Dwarven fast food. But I'm not hungry. Now that's a damn turkey leg. The master brewer says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. See the snarl on his face? Ah! Mutant slime! Oh. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. Yeah, maybe. A pile of dirty dishes. The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. There is no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. Slime can be really evil. Bad slime. That seems to be the rat hole where the little beast plans its raids. The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. Ooh, I'll take that. Get some rat DNA there. Let's see how it likes this. Aha! It works! And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. And it's gone. 
It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. Uh, Alright folks, that about wraps it up for the first episode of The Book of Unwritten Tales. Stay tuned for much more of this gorgeous adventure.